Hey guys, this is Gabriel Lorenzi, creator of the blog Grupo Dicas, one of the biggest travel blogs in the world. And today I am here to tell you about where to stay in Curaçao, which is the best region on the island. What are the best beaches, which are the coolest hotels for you to stay, which ones we stayed at and liked, how to get around. And finally, all the tips for you to stay in the best possible region of Curaçao. So these tips are going to be very quick, useful and not boring at all. So guys, enjoy the video. Don't forget to to give us that like, subscribe to the channel because that really helps us a lot and buckle up! Well, Curaçao is an incredible island, it's one of the most beautiful destinations that we have ever traveled, it's a paradise, and the island is not small, okay guys, it's very big, it's very extensive, so it has many regions, and if you start researching, I don't know if you have already started, you will see that people offer many tips from many different places, regions, and this ends up confusing up a little bit, so we took here two regions that we think are the best, each one focus on a profile for you to know where to stay in Curaçao. For you to understand, the island of Curaçao that you see here on the screen, the western part, a little bit up, is where the most beautiful beaches are, okay? The most popular ones. From here on, there are a few hotels as you go up, but there are still nice hotels. And in the general region, Wallenstad, which is W. Williamstad, you will have the tourist area, which is the tourist center. That's where you have more stores, bars, restaurants, those colorful little houses that are very characteristic of Curaçao. Then there's also another place that has a lot of hotels and concentrates a very large hotel zone. So what's the difference between these two? Okay, guys, the central region does not have a beach. Okay, it has beaches, but that are not the most beautiful ones. The sea is not so nice, so it's not the place uh, that people go to enjoy the beach. On the other hand, it has the cheapest hotels. It has a lot of hotels. It has restaurants, bars, stores. You can walk around during the day. It's a very nice and touristy area. So I'll recommendation if you intend to save money and have uh, the car to explore the other part of the islands then you can stay in this area of Willemstad. There are two neighborhoods there because it's quite big in this region okay you go a little bit down the island almost there on the coast there are two regions that we recommend which is the region of Punda and Pieter Mai okay it's kind of hard to write it's Pieter Mai P-I-E-T E R M A A I Peter Mai and then these two regions are pretty cool they are right in the center Punta is a little bit older Peter Mai has a little bit more hotels nicer hotels and at night it's a little bit busier I prefer the Peter Mai area so have a look I'll leave it here guys below in the description of the video you can enter it later from the computer it's easier you will open the video here underneath you have the description the title you click on show more it will open all the links that we left or Organized, and one of them is the map with all the selected regions in Curaçao and with the best hotels for you to search and also the hotels that we have already stayed there was one that we stayed in the central region guys that's very cheap and very good for those who want to focus on sightseeing want to have some uh, saving money it's an excellent option it's a very nice hotel I'll also leave here the link below this is the central region this is the first one that I mentioned and now going to the second region which in my opinion is the coolest guys an important detail you saw that we talked a lot about the size of the island the beaches the regions Curaçao is a very big island and it's essential to rent a car it's very difficult to get around there by cab there is practically no public transportation it's very complicated so are there places you can get around without a car yes but Curaçao in specific is a place that's very difficult to get around without a car if you want to visit the beaches okay because the most beautiful beaches the most beautiful of all the most famous ones in Curaçao they are quite spread out one on each hand and they are not close to the hotel so anyway you will have to walk to them so try to rent the car it's not expensive okay guys it's very easy with a national driver's license you can rent it all you need is your license a credit card make a reservation beforehand and you save a lot there's a site that's a comparator I'll leave it here below in the description as well it's a site that compares all the car rental companies in Curaçao and shows you the best prices it's the cheapest place we only make reservations through there for years and for any 
anywhere in the world because you will get very good prices go there take a look you will see but try to rent the car because in Curaçao it really makes all of a difference because of the beaches and now talking about the second region that i think is really cool guys it's called blue bay it's blue bay from blue bay <laughs> it's one of the most beautiful beaches in curaçao so if you stay there you already be close to one of the most beautiful beaches you can stay there one two days it's an incredible place and it's a region like a gated community but it has hotels it has houses it has restaurants it's a small center that focused on the beach it's a little bit closer to the center and the nice thing is that you are about 10 minutes away from the center and you are also about 10 minutes away from the main beaches which are Porto Mare and Casabao the two most beautiful beaches in our opinion in Curaçao and there you are close so I loved staying there I thought it was the nicest area the beach is beautiful and there was a hotel there that we stayed guys which is spectacular and it's not expensive and it has a pool the restaurant there is nice the food is good it's clean and if you walk you will get to this blue bay this beach that's very nice this structure and finally take a look i'll leave it here in the description of the video as well take a look at this hotel that i thought was very good and then you will be close to the other beaches in the west the beaches in the east and south are a little further away but in our opinion they were not the most beautiful if you had to focus we really like the west guys an important tip okay to save money with hotels especially in curaçao is to book in advance this is the main tip of all and why in the tourism market anywhere in the world especially those touristic places the earlier you book the cheaper you pay how does it work when you get close to your trip rooms are sold out the cheapest ones are sold out the best ones are sold out and the hotel system automatically makes the remaining rooms more expensive and the prices go up it's according to demand so the sooner you do it the cheaper you pay okay so try to do it as soon as possible it is link here below that i left of the hotel the map are already inside a hotel searcher which is the one we always use it's the one i like the most it's the biggest in the world for sure you know it and the cool thing about it is we use the free cancellation strategy it has a free cancellation partnership with almost all the hotels in the world so you enter look it's a nice hotel the price is good for the day you're planning to travel make the reservation it's fast in five minutes you make the reservation and if you need to change the region a room or cancel it's just a click away without any bureaucracy they don't charge you anything you won't pay anything so this is the golden tip to save money if you want to save money on lodging do it as soon as possible it makes a difference Ah, guys if you have any questions send them to us i try to help as much as possible okay it's accumulating a lot of messages but i really try it takes a few days but i answer it's even easier send me there on instagram at pylorenzi send me a direct that i'll help you and take the opportunity to follow us on social networks that we are always traveling around the world showing the routine with our little ones that are a blast and now we also have a new channel the familia lorenzi here on youtube that we show our routine here in orlando we are leaving orlando in the united United States the Disney Park shopping food the girls everything it's very cool follow us there you're gonna like it and down here guys in the description of the video go to it from the computer it's easier I'll leave all these links organized it's a guide for you to plan your trip with the cheapest sites hiring the best services everything with discount with the best price these are the ones we discovered over the years and use it to plan our trip there is the travel insurance comparator that has become a must okay people for Curaçao after the pandemic it became mandatory to have travel insurance it's cheap with this comparator when it compares in all the insurance companies it shows you the lowest price and it's very easy to hire so take a look there's also the side of the tours it's a complete guide for you to plan your entire trip from the beginning to the end and that's it guys i hope you liked the video if you like it please give us a like and subscribe to the channel because it really helps us a lot in here i'll leave the video on how to travel cheaply to curaçao and below the playlist with all the other videos from this destination for you to watch and enjoy so guys thank you very much and have nice trips